Welcome Taurus. Okay, so we are going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that you may need help with. Okay, we're using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot and Shadow Healing. Okay, so let's get into this for you. Have a quick shuffle. Taurus. Taurus. Here's the first card out. Wow. Break addiction. Break addiction. Whatever this is, Taurus. Okay, this could be you being addicted to anything. It doesn't just have to be, you know, I think, the thing is that when we think of addiction, we often think of maybe drugs and alcohol, right? But it could be anything such as <sighs> negative thinking. It could be shopping. It could be your phone. It could be <sighs> exercise. Anything that is not done within moderation could potentially be harmful okay um i feel as though some of you feel like there's no way out right now and it's almost as though taurus you want to break out of something uh but you're you, you yeah it's like you just don't see a way out right now so let's have a look more at this break addiction for Taurus, please. This is definitely some sort of battle going on, and I feel like it is such an internal battle for you as well. Okay, so Taurus, one card upside down, so I don't know what it is yet. Taurus. And I like this. Look, Taurus, I'm addicted to buying tarot cards. Okay, like seriously. I swear, if there was a buying tarot cards anonymous that I could do, go to, I would go to it. Maybe I need to start that up. Get everyone to bring their, their tarot cards. <laughs> nah. Um, anyway, let's have a look at this, hey? Ace of Inspiration. Ace of Inspiration. I feel like Taurus is the beginning of something. It's actually about rather than, okay, okay, so say you have this addiction, right, and you're trying to figure out the best way to, to deal with it, and, and you may have tried a number of different things, and this hasn't worked, that hasn't worked, and da-da-da-da-da, okay, it's sort of like needing to really, rather than searching for the, um, the solution, it's almost as though there's this need to go within, and allow the solution to come to you. Um, and, and I feel like that will, it will spring into your mind. It will suddenly be like, oh my gosh, yes, I could do that. Okay, I feel as though yeah, that could be the case. I'm just, sorry, I'm just noticing that there's this cactus here behind her. And it's sort of like every time you try something new, there's this friggin' prickly thing still, like, don't forget, don't forget. It's like this addiction is still there right on you going, don't forget I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, and... Um, Yeah, it's taking a lot. It's taking a heck of a lot. This could also be an addiction that you have overcome. Okay, so let's see what else comes up. One more card for break addiction for Taurus, please. One more card for break addiction for Taurus. The wheel. Love it. The wheel is a turn in. Okay, so look, 
things are turning for you, okay, but what I want to say, I'm just not too sure where you are on the wheel, to be honest, because, you know, the wheel keeps turning right, it keeps going around and around and around, okay, um, and so sometimes we're at the bottom of the wheel, sometimes we're at the top, right, and um, I just, yeah, wonder if some of you may have hit rock bottom, but is this what the new beginning is about? Is this is this the fact maybe it could be Taurus that you needed to hit rock bottom in order for you to start again? Right? Yeah. I do want to say not to like any change that is coming in 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 breaking this addiction, don't resist it, okay? Um, I know that's easier said than done when it comes to a res um, addiction, but look at why the addiction is there, because more often than not, addiction is there to cover up any trauma that we may have. Okay, Taurus, so it could very well be, it's not the addiction you really need to deal with, it's the trauma that um, is underlying the reason for the addiction actually being there. Okay, so be aware of that. Relinquish control. This feels like this is you setting yourself free. To be honest with you, this person here, like here, vulnerable. It's like, and it's sort of like this addiction you're holding on to. And it's like if you if you release this addiction, because I feel like you want to, <clears throat> if you release the addiction, you're going to have to look at what it is that the addiction was covering up. And I think that's what scares you the most. Okay, but it's time now. And I and I, I, I really have a sense that you feel it's time. And it's very interesting because when I was prepping your cards, um, I just got nothing. And I was like, is this peace? But it wasn't peace. It was just this nothingness. And it's, it reminds me of being in a, in a dark room with nothing in there in a cold, dark room. And with this card coming out here with this person here, it's like that. It's like this, oh my gosh, it really is like rock bottom, you know? So tell me more about relinquish control. So it really is about giving up this control. Six of materials. Yeah, letting things, oh, we've had two jump out here and I feel I need to take these the way they've flipped out. But I feel like this is actually about you letting go of things that no longer serve you. And it could even be that um, these things may appear really cool, really good, um, but they're actually not too much of anything is not that great okay too much money would be good though let's face it <laughs> nah uh, anyway but we can get addicted to that right this is why gambling happens for people right there's always this thing that they're chasing after and it's not necessarily the money it's the buzz of the win and it's a distraction again it's a distraction right okay so we have the sun that has jumped out here and I absolutely love this for you letting go this is oh this is brilliant right you can't ask for anything better than the sun right you know you've got six and I do really feel like you're going to be successful at this if you apply yourself to it okay the devil, yep see this is again this is addictions okay um and this is you see, underneath here, this person may not look harmless, but underneath it all, just be mindful because it's like she's here actually controlling what's going on up here. Look at these strings here connected to her fingers, okay? Um, although, yeah, I actually feel like things aren't as they appear. But what I do want to say is this underlying trauma of yours um underlying this addiction is what is controlling this addiction this is what is keeping you held to it but with the sun here i love that this has come up because you will 
absolutely be successful at this because this is coming up because you are ready, Taurus. You want this, okay? Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to this, yeah? Access clear thinking, yeah, unraveling all those thoughts, all this this um these thoughts that are not serving you okay to get to the core this is like walking through a maze here because look at this they've got two mazes here we've got this maze here and we've got this maze here and I feel like this is representing the maze of the mind okay um and it's causing a maze of emotions to wade your way through Whew. Pretty heavy stuff here, Taurus. Pretty heavy stuff. And I'm noticing the wing here on her head. And I feel as though a lot of these thoughts can be released. And it sounds so much easier um, than what it really is. But it's sort of that choice of, am I going to entertain this thought? And am I going to invite it in for a cup of tea and sit down with it? Or am I just going to tell it to go away? You know, am I even going to answer the door to it? And sort of like really taking note of every single thought that you have and what it is that you're going to do with that thought, right? So yeah, access clear thinking. Tell me more about this, please. Access clear thinking. The Taurus. Nope. Is that two cards? Yes, it is. Wow, yeah, oh wow, look at this, oops, I just dropped something on the ground there, um, look at this, hello Taurus, look at this, this is access clear thinking, this is all these thoughts coming in, this is, this is something that you can actually come out of and you can actually control, you just have to do the work to control that and as I was saying before, it is a follow on to what I was saying, looking at these thoughts, you know, um, whether you entertain them or not the other thing I want to say for you Taurus is this addiction could be not allowing you to think clearly okay so this could be getting in the way of that okay we also have the 10 of emotions which I really really love because it's sort of like in 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 even with the the card before here you've got the sun such a positive card here and um and I feel as though with these two cards you've got this is what you can achieve you can get to the ten of emotions which is is the equivalent to the ten of cups here okay and it, but it's you know what it's kind of like feeding the flower of life with positivity with these positive emotions okay because what's happening here yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So what's happening here, I see, is that there's a mutual exchange of energy going on. Feeding the flower of life and the life and life sends back an equal amount of um, nutrients and nurturing and love. Okay, whereas the eight of voices here is sort of the opposite of that. This is a more negative, dark energy to be in. Okay, and this is this overthinking, stinking thinking, negative thoughts, thinking there's no way out, I don't know what to do, I can't do it, um, I'm useless, I'm hopeless, um, I'm not good enough. Okay, whereas the 10 of emotions is the opposite of that. Okay, and I feel like unraveling everything that needs to be unraveled will allow you to access that clear thinking. Let me just pick the card up that I've knocked off the table. Okay, so continuing on here. Focus on higher truths. Focus on higher truths. Here's the other wing. Oh, it's on the same side of the head. Focus on higher truths. I feel like there's some sort of higher power that you can focus on to help you here. 
regardless of what that be. Some of you may be religious. It could be spiritual. Um, I feel as though this is about you quietening yourself, giving yourself time to tune in to a higher power, really. A higher power. So giving yourself something to believe in. I feel like this is going to open doors for you. Okay, focus on higher... Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that or not, but wowie. Let me pick these up. Mm -hmm. Like those did a double bounce, I swear. Um, if, you know, if there's any way to make it clear that these are the cards that you need, then, you know, that's it, right? Okay, so we've got the two of emotions. So this is you not knowing which way to go. Um, trying to, it's sort of like, like juggling the emotions in a sense. It's almost like you get get hold of an emotion and then become immersed by it as well. Um, we've got the muse of materials as well. I love this. This is you walking to a new destination. This is being on this bridge, right? Coming from one place to the next. And um and I feel like, okay, so if we're focusing on higher truth, right, see this here, back here, imagine that's the higher truth, right, this is the truth, this is the life that you can live, you're coming from the darkness here and walking across this bridge to this higher truth, this is what you need to focus on, focus on the destination to keep you going in those hard times when you want to succumb to the addiction when it's prickling you at the back of you going you I am here um focus on what is ahead of you what you are aiming towards the you who you will be when you get there okay because the truth of the matter is well, that's not really right because you are the truth of that. You were already there. But I, I feel like you have a vision of what your life will look like and who you will be in that life. And I feel like that's what you need to focus on here, Taurus. Okay, so let's have a look here. Listen to your guardian angel. Perfect. This is This is the higher truth. This is the higher truth that you can focus on. Thank you. Um... Listen to your guardian angel. Listen to your heart, right? Um, know that your guardian angel is here for you uh, to help you along the way, okay? And to hit, tap in and hear your guardian angel, you need to access this clear thinking, okay? Um, but what I want to say with that, though, is that when you, ex when you listen to your guardian angel, that is going to come more through your heart, and your intuition okay so this is something that you definitely oh, I love this I love this because this shows you the support that you have okay so let's just have a look two cards for listen to your guardian angel is that one? Oh no it's two excellent knight of voices wow this is cool man knight of voices And we have the two of materials here as well. There's, um, I feel like you are trying to get things in balance and it's just really, it feels like such a... Um, a rocky ground right now for you or at least that's how it feels for you okay um i feel as though there's <clears throat> with the night of voices here i feel as though oh i almost had it it came and then it went 
because it feels like, and I suppose this could be the case, say, if someone's, you know, this is in this addiction mode, right, of like things feel sort of airy-fairy, okay, and it's sort of learning to, I want to actually say speak your truth, because it's sort of like for you Taurus that not speaking your truth, it's it's kind of like it's harder to be authentic when you're trying to hide your truth. Okay, so it's like you're trying to present yourself as being on the solid ground, but you've still got these things that you're dealing with here. So it's difficult for you to to confidently present yourself with solidarity. <clears throat> because the faith that you have within you is quite shaky right now. And so this guardian angel here will help you with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got develop a stronger concentration. Transmutation, purification. I love this. Develop stronger concentration. Purification and transmutation. So any thoughts, <clears throat> any negative thoughts that are not um, helping you, you can <clears throat> request for them to be sent to the highest source of light for transmutation, okay? And on top of that, if you wish, you can request for them to come back to you purified and maybe transmuted into a positive thought. Okay, you can play around with it. Have fun with it, right? Let it come back to you as love or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. And I feel like meditation is going to help you with this. I actually feel like doing a candle meditation. Have a look on YouTube for those. Um, yeah, having a candle in front of you and focusing on the flame. Okay, and... Clearing your mind of all thoughts and only letting the flame be your focus. Okay, practice concentration. Concentration takes practice. It's not something, you know, we can concentrate, but it, I feel like for you, and I wonder if it, what this is what this night of voices is about, because it felt like a very flitting kind of energy, like flighty. And so I wonder if that's the lack of concentration, right? Um, yeah, and it's even the two of materials here is like trying to hold on to these two roses here and balancing on this while looking up like this. It's like you need to focus. There's this need for focus to actually be able to achieve that. And I feel as though develop a stronger concentration Tapping into that third eye, okay, definitely meditation for sure here, Taurus. Okay, so let's have a look. Tell me more about develop stronger concentration for Taurus here, please. This could even be addiction to a person. Okay. Oh, see, they go flying. That's okay. What is it? I can't see. Why am I even trying? <laughs> Okay, so one more card for, oh yeah, sweet. Okay, I'll just pick this up. Okay, so what flipped on the floor was the Knight of Materials. I love this. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Okay, so um, I feel like for you, this is about you working out where are you going to invest your energy? Okay, what are you going to invest your energy into? Okay, um... Um, the other card here is the Hierophant. Wow. Yeah, see, this is again looking to this higher power. Okay, looking to the higher power for um, 
for guidance, your guardian angel, yes. Looking to your guardian angel for wisdom. Okay, yeah. I feel as though you... At the moment, you're feeling quite vulnerable and uh, a little bit unsure of the path right now, um, or maybe a lot unsure of the path. And um, it's like you want to, it's like you want to be up here, but in order to be up there, it feels absolutely petrifying for you. And so it's, I think, I think it's really important for you to focus. Um, and, and this was, you know, what was it? Focus on high truths. There was something I said before about, you know, looking at, um, yeah, focusing on the high truths, looking at where you want to end up, okay? And it, it seems as though for you, Taurus, that maybe um, it feels like where you want to end up feels way out of your reach. And it actually feels like you may stand out like a sore thumb and it feels like, um if you got there, you would be so freaking vulnerable and so actually scared of being in that place because it's unfamiliar territory that it's scary, but you know you need to get there as well. And so um, just be assured that each step of the way is going to prepare you to actually be in the destination that you need to be in. Okay, so, um, so pace yourself, be gentle with yourself and, and, you know, know that each step is crucial uh, to prepare you for getting to the destination. Okay, so Taurus, let us have a look at the shadow healing here. Okay, so we want three cards here for Taurus, please. We've got Baffled is the first card. We've got Dishonesty is the second card. And Unhappiness is the third card. So let's start with Baffled. Yeah. okay sometimes a little confusion allows us the opportunity to explore different ways that we might not have previously considered okay and this reminds me of this card here bringing in a new idea okay it's like the confusion leads to clarity in a sense so yes I really like that okay the next one is dishonesty don't confuse dishonesty with a difference of opinion. Everyone has their own take on the situation and you are required to respect the differences. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Unhappiness. Searching for contentment is a well-traveled path that can be elusive. The hunt for happiness might not conclude at the destination, but joy can be found during the journey itself. Yes, that is exactly what I was saying. I love that. Okay, and, and that's like this card here. It may feel like this is what it's going to look like when you get there, but that's, that's actually a dishonest representation of that. Okay, um, so... Yeah, I like this. Let me read this again. Don't confuse dishonesty dishonesty with difference of opinion. Everyone has their own take on the situation and you are required to respect the differences. This could even be this own argument going on inside your head, you know. Um, yeah, so I really want to say to you, Taurus, be gentle with yourself because this is one heck of a journey to go through. And um, whatever it is that you are trying to release yourself from, even if it is a, an addiction to a particular relationship that's unhealthy for you, this could be the case, you know. So, yeah, be really, really gentle with yourselves. Be kind to yourselves, okay, because this is what you need at this time, especially right now. Whew. Okay, Taurus, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves, okay? See you. Bye-bye.